Hey everyone, it's Reacher here. Big ideas, bright people, and some bad luck brings us 15 beautiful vehicles that never made it to production. Number 15. Light on its wheels, the Furi track car prototype would have made a fantastic production car if only it hadn't gone down in flames while road testing at Le Mans one fateful day in 2008. Its curvy linear body and 460 horsepower generating engine made it a fabulous track car, so it's kind of ironic that it met its demise on the track. Number 14. Ford definitely likes to think way ahead in time as their snazzy design game is very futuristic looking. It's like walking into another dimension set eons in the future. The GT90 debuted back in 1995. This ivory beauty featured a 6 liter quad turbocharged V12 engine that could push out 720 horsepower and a top speed of 254 miles per hour. While it didn't make it to production, it did give virtual speed junkies a thrill in games like GT, Need for Speed, Ford Racing, and Rush. Number 13. In 2006, Lamborghini decided to take a step back from their world of sharp angles and boxy lines and look to their past to what made them what they are today. This concept was built off of Lamborghini's Gallardo and was to be powered by the Murcia Lagos V12. It was rumored to be priced around $350,000 with a release date of some time in 2008, but it never happened. That's a tragedy of the most expensive design. Number 12. This one debuted as a concept in 1967 at the Chicago Auto Show. With much of its design sharing characteristics with those of some of the highly praised European sports car designs of its time, the Mustang Mach 2 was one of the most uniquely designed American cars to come out of that decade. If it were up to me, this is the car that Ford would have been making for the past 50 years. Number 11. Do we even need a reminder about the IDX? It was Nissan's modern reincarnation of the Datsun 510, the low-priced, classically styled, rear-wheel drive sports car that I dream about every other night. The Nissan IDX is a concept that has been in the works since 2013. We may hear more about the IDX and its two concept models, the Free Flow and the IDX Nismo, later this year. Until then, here are some highlights of what we know about this innovative design. Number 10. If mass-produced, this car could have been one of the most beautiful sports cars of the decade. With a 540 horsepower Ferrari V8 and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.3 seconds, the new Lancia Stratos could have been our everything. Why would anyone care about a Porsche Cayman or an Alfa Romeo 4C when you can have one of these? Number 9. Okay, perhaps this one is a bit young to be included on our list because it just debuted a couple years ago. However, it's simply too unique not to include. The Kikai concept can best be described as a funky mixture of an old school hot rod and a dune buggy. Unfortunately for folks who would buy it, Toyota has already indirectly stated that this project was a work of pure fantasy. In other words, it's just not gonna happen. Number 8. Done in 1977 under the direction of GM in collaboration with Italian builder Pininfarina, the first Type K for Camback was conceived on the base Firebird, not the Trans Am. Early prototypes were built of fiberglass, but GM arranged to have two metal-bodied Type Ks constructed for show purposes. 
In late 1977, Pininfarina delivered the twin wagons, one silver and one gold. These were 1978 cars, but were later converted to look like 1979 and 1980 models. Number 7. Like its predecessor, the X1000, little on this car was meant to predict the shapes or features of Fords of the immediate future. They were intended to be advanced concepts of the far-flung automotive future. On a bubble top kick, designers Alex Tremulus and Bill Bala, yeah, that's his real last name, came up with the X2000 in 1956. Although a full-scale clay version was in the works, the X2000 was only completed as a 3 8 scale model and only shown in person at the Ford Rotunda. Number 6. This one was designed and envisioned by Chrysler design chief Virgil Exner, who took many liberties to design his own idea of a small sports roadster. It was one of his most ambitious designs, with many new controversial features that weren't relevant to regular production cars. The car was built in Italy and then toured the world in 1960. For nearly 50 years, the XNR was unseen by the public until a restoration debut at the 2011 Amelia Island Concours de Elegance. It was displayed as part of the Orphan Concept class and was a highlight of the show. Number 5 in 1953, Alfa Romeo entered into a collaboration with Bertone with the intent of exploring aerodynamics, specifically to reduce drag as much as possible. The collaboration resulted in three cars over three years, the Bat 5 in 1953, the Bat 7 in 1954, and finally the Bat 9 in 1955. All three original Bats have been restored and are on display at the Black Hawk Museum in California. Number 4. As far as concept cars go, the Medulo was far more futuristic than any car at that time. It was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 1970 and won 22 international design awards for pure formal research and its intentional geometricity. It was a one-off prototype built on the chassis of a Ferrari 512S and that's why it never entered into production. Number 3. The Simple Stuff First. This concept sits on the Z8 Roadster platform. And there ends the simple stuff. The skin? Well, it's a flexible texture that stretches over a metal wire structure reinforced with carbon fiber. The idea was to allow the driver to change the shape of the car on the move. At the time, designers reckoned this was the future of car design, allowing customers to create their cars around their own requirements. A quick look at the local Halfords car park suggests these predictions may have been a little off the mark. Perhaps it's because of the potential for damage by scissor-wielding hooligans? Number 2. Built as a throwback to the original Jeep forward control vehicles from the 1950s and 60s, the Jeep Mighty FC concept was built to give the world a taste of what a modern American-built Soviet GAZ hauler might feel like. It was powered by Chrysler's 300-horsepower Pentastar V6 motor with the same transmission and transfer case set up from the Wrangler of its time. It even had a completely modern interior with, wait for it, plaid seats. How's that for throwback? Number 1. Winner of the Funkiest EV Design Award, the Aptera 2E looks like a cross between a motorcycle and an ultralight single-seat airplane. The 2E was a competitor in the Automotive X Prize competition. Thousands of potential buyers paid a $500 refundable deposit in anticipation of its scheduled production in late 2008. 
Having made the number one spot on this list, we know it was delayed a few times. And only time will tell if the company can deliver to its loyal fans. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.